It's a beautiful Wednesday, and I believe that your day has been amazing. Um, today, the 10th of January 2024, we'll be looking at the second part of a series we started yesterday, It Shall Be Well. We started a series yesterday, It Shall Be Well, and we looked at the first part of it. Today is the second part. Our memory verse is taken from Psalm 67, verse 5. Psalm 67, verse 5. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee i want to believe you're shouting hallelujah wherever you are our bible reading is also taken from psalm 67 verse 5 to verse 7 5 to 7 let the people praise thee O god let all the people praise thee then shall the earth yield our increase and god even our god shall bless us verse 7 the last verse god shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him our father and the lord is saying you know yesterday told us that it will be well with the children of God. As long as you're righteous, it will be well with you. The second condition for living in wellness and prosperity this year as a child of God is to continually praise God. Make praise a culture. Make praise your lifestyle. Continually praise God. You know, it's amazing how we come to church to sing the praises of God, to raise holy hands unto God, and then as soon as we step out, we begin to bring down the name of god we begin to have conversations that do not glorify god we begin to talk as if god is not in our reality as if we are fatherless imagine you hear your son or your daughter having a conversation with the friends with his friends or friends outside and he says things like i don't even know if we'll have food to eat tomorrow this nation is so hard i don't even know if i'll go to school tomorrow ah <clears throat> i have been working so hard i don't know if my future is okay you know that's how some of us talk be like ah this country is hard things are hard ah i don't know if where we are going the when i even ate today i was just grateful that ah god provided today because you know your god is a wicked god you don't know if he'll give you food tomorrow <laughs> that's how we sound sometimes so praising god is not just singing beautiful songs it's not just what you do in church it's actually a lifestyle it's a, it's carrying a deep consciousness of god it's training the mind and the mind naturally because of its falling state of course we're redeemed naturally finds it easy to remember negative things people and that's why people remember negative events more than good events remember mistakes more than the good that people have done it finds it easy to remember negative things but you must train your mind to remember positive things to carry god in your consciousness praise the lord and our father in the lord says today that we should make praise our culture learn to sing when you wake up in the morning don't just have your morning devotion uh, uh, morning devotion sitting down sometimes put on your praise song and dance before your maker sometimes while you're cooking you're dressing up you're driving you can praise god anywhere and everywhere our father in the lord in today's devotional referred to one time during the holy ghost service when god instructed that everyone should praise god that they should praise god and ask nothing of him in that service and the woman had come to church she had a serious health health condition and she had come to church and she was not comfortable you know sometimes feel like it's by saying die fire that's when god will move so she was feeling that way and she went to meet one of the deputy general overseers at that time um pa abion of um late memory and he has, she asked that he prayed with her and he said god has instructed through the general overseer that we simply praise we don't ask for anything and so the woman had to reluctantly go back to the service and began she began to praise god guess what while she was praising god god healed her completely when praises come down when praises go up blessings come down see what we read today he said then shall the earth yield our increase when you praise god the head must respond and bless you our key point says when we praise god we attract showers or divine blessings i encourage you i don't know what you're going through you may be going through a difficult season but i encourage you that whatever season you found yourself in praise god today and see what god will do for you god bless you